Earth is living through one of the harshest 24 hours in its prehistoric history. A massive asteroid has just slammed into the planet, releasing more energy than any weapon humans would ever create. Thick clouds of dust and ash now blanket the atmosphere, blocking out sunlight and turning day into an endless night. At the same time, giant tsunamis crash inland with unstoppable force, killing entire groups of dinosaurs and sweeping their bodies, along with forests and everything near the coast, far out into the open sea. Night falls. For a moment it feels like the worst is over, but it isn't. Volcanoes begin to awaken, one after another, erupting with violent force, ripping open the land and sending fire, ash, and molten rock high into the sky. The ground trembles. The air turns thick and heavy. Then come the explosions, louder, closer. From above, blazing fragments of rock begin to rain down, each one a flaming hammer from the sky. They crash into the earth with brutal force, setting forests ablaze and killing anything in their path. This isn't just a disaster, it's extinction, unfolding in real time. Then, the rain comes. For a brief moment, it feels like hope, like the earth might cool, like life might somehow endure. But it isn't salvation. It's acid rain, laced with toxic particles, falling hard across the land. Thunder cracks above as violent lightning tears through the sky. What seemed like mercy becomes another catastrophe, a second wave of destruction. Life, it seemed, had been wiped out by a chain of unstoppable catastrophes. But not all of it. Some creatures survived. Tiny, almost invisible compared to the giants that once ruled the Earth. Among them was a small burrowing mammal known as Simulestes, an early ancestor of modern mammals. While the skies burned and the ground shook, they stayed hidden deep underground, sheltered in narrow tunnels far from the chaos above. Now, as the world begins to settle, they emerge cautiously. They forage across the scorched land, collecting hard seeds and bringing them back to their burrows, back to the fragile, blind pups that have just opened their eyes in a new, broken world.
Some of the giant creatures, Tyrannosaurus, those lucky enough to be deep inland when disaster struck, managed to survive. Now, in this shattered world, they fight again, clashing with one another over territory and what little food remains. For the smaller dinosaurs, it's a different story. Scavengers by nature, they see the aftermath as a feast. The ground is littered with carcasses, and to them, it's the richest banquet they've ever known. A herd of Triceratops senses that the danger isn't over. Instinct drives them to move, away from the coasts, deeper into the mainland, searching for higher ground and safety. But there is no true safety now, not anywhere. A sudden strike from a lurking prehistoric crocodile is enough to drag one of them to its death. The herd panics and scatters. But for the rest, there is still a chance, a fragile chance to keep moving and to survive a little longer in a world that no longer forgives weakness. Twenty-four hours have passed since the asteroid struck. In just one day, tsunami, fire, Ash, acid rain, and chaos have reshaped the planet. The age of dinosaurs is beginning to end. Not all at once, but moment by moment. Some will hang on, most will not. And yet, deep in the shadows, something new is stirring. The story of Earth is far from over. If you want to see what happens in the next 72 hours of this prehistoric apocalypse, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss what comes next.